Hey guys, um, this Coco Pops here, and I've been working on um, a lockable door. I'll show you what it does first, because here's a house I've been working on with this design applied in it. Opens, and then it locks when you press that button. So if you want to lock your house after you've gone in, you can. If I press it again. And the door opens, so it's just like a lock mechanism, like a key mechanism. So, this is the design that is underneath where you just saw over there. This is the design. But I've just been thinking how I can make it com more compact. So, I made it a little bit more compact. Then, I made it a little bit more compact, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 by 5. Then I made this one, which is 6x4, but doesn't fully work. Then I made this one, which fully works, is proper... Actually, no, that that's the one that didn't work properly. This one works properly. It's 6x4. It's the smallest you can possibly make it. So it's the exact same as what you just saw over there in such a smaller space. And I will show you it in action. So, okay, ready. Actually, I don't need blocks there. The blocks need to go in there. So, okay, right, let's start here. Um, you can see how the torch is turned on. So, actually, before I do this, I'll give you a detour of how it all works. So, I stand on here, send the current through here, which turns this torch on. Okay, but when I press, this is the locking mechanism. What it does is it swaps this T flip flop. Wait, so the T flops on the wrong position. Why? Is, why my T flip flop not working? Better tactic. Why is my T flip flop not working? Okay, right. I don't know why that's not working. Oh, crap. I see what I've done. Okay, right. Um, uh, guys, wait. Two seconds. I just need to build this. Let's put that block there. I do. 